All right, kidlets, let's take a look at what you will be doing for this badge. I've got some student submitted work here. These are actually from a local student here where I live. And so let's get right into it. I've got them in my computer so you can see my mouse and we can just see really the clarity of the photos rather than using the overhead camera onto my iPad. So in this badge, you will learn how to take great and amazing photographs by completing seven different assignments. And the first one is going out and shooting photos all of the same object. And I've kind of scrolled through this so I know that this person shot squares. So, and you can see here's another square. So this first one looks like a vent of some sort and it's a great, they've got a great filter on it so we can really see uh, the shadows and the shading of it and it looks really, really good. It's a nice photograph. And then this one here, another square, but then they've done the skills from lesson one and done a little bit of markup, made a little bit of a face on it here. This looks, this looks pretty cool. I like that one too. And you can see, if we go back, you see this little side thing here? This is called vignetting. And you can see they've, they've carried it from photo to photo. So they're using a consistent filter to let us know that we're in the same type of gallery of images. And here again is nice and square. You can see their focus is amazing. Uh, everything is nice and clear, really good stuff here. Uh, again, another square. This time they've used the rule of thirds and they've brought it down a little bit and we can see a little bit of the background here. So that's looking great. And squares again, the vignetting is here. The colors are looking great. Another great photo. Boy, we could make a gallery out of these things. Uh, this one I don't like so much. Uh, I wish it maybe it was turned <laughs> or something. The writing is sideways. I guess this writing is straight up. But uh, just a little weird, um, not, my, not my favorite, but not bad. I mean, the composition, everything looks really good on it. Okay, so now we're going into the second assignment, which is go out and find uh, the same color all around where you're at. And so this one, I know from previewing it that this is red, that they've, they've shot things in red. Uh, again, red here. You can see that they've cropped everything square as they should. They've drawn on this one using markup. Looks really cute. cool. I like that a lot. Uh, so this photo is looking really good. Uh, wow, these are great photos. This is a nice composition here. They're using a filter, obviously, that's really making the colors pop. And I really like that the yellow is popping. The red is, obviously, we know the color is red that they're going with here, you know, with all these, these different things. The colors are looking great and consistent. Uh, looks like we got some Lego pieces here. Again, in red, everything is looking great. More red. Uh, these are wonderful shots. And everything's in focus. Everything's really clear. Look at how clear we can see everything here. Great stuff. Okay, and one of the other assignments is to use a seamless white background for photographing things. This is used a lot in commercial photography and it's great uh, to gain this skill so you know how it's done. And you can see this is a shot that could be from a catalog. It is so nice and clear. The focus is great. There is no seam in the background. We don't see a horizon at all. Uh, a great, great photo, really good stuff there. Okay, for this series, you have to show some steps on how to do something kind of in the, the style of Ikea or Lego where you don't put words in, you just show visually what to do. So you can see here, we've got to get a knife, uh, some jam, some peanut butter and two pieces of bread. And then uh, we put peanut butter on one of the pieces. We put jam on the other piece here. And then we put the two pieces together with a really gross, goopy knife. And then we cut it in uh, half here. And then, oh, look, we put it on a nice plate for a nice presentation and we start to eat. So we can see from this assignment here that you can show, I'm gonna back up here, you can just show a series of how to do something by just uh, being very, very visual here. This is really important for a lot of school projects that you will do. Your, your teacher's gonna love you uh, if you know how to do this kind of stuff. Okay, uh, for this assignment, it's called the roaming toy, where you put your toy out in different places and see uh, what, uh, what kind of great photographs you can take there. So you can see a nice photo here. Uh, the, uh, the focus again is perfect. Uh, obviously using their close-up skills from level one. Uh, it looks like we've got a nice blurring filter. Yeah, it looks like it's added to all of them there. That's a really nice blurring filter on what they're doing. Uh, a little bit of water coming in. Uh, looks like a water fountain. Again, a nice, uh, great shot. Everything's in focus as it should be. Um, really, these are great. Composition is really nice. Uh, you can see uh, this just how great of a photograph this is. You could you could frame that and hang it up in an office. Oh, okay. So now they're learning. Uh, they're applying the silhouetting from lesson one. You see that there? That looks really good. Uh, close up from lesson one here. These are all great photos. They they look really nice. Um, yeah, this is the assignment for uh, taking a photos of shadows. And uh, obviously, we know the shadow is the subject of this photo. Really, another great photo here. And finally, this one is called reflection where you take a photo against something very reflective. In this case, it looks like glass. 
and you show something else in the reflection here. And the reflection has to be in focus. Okay, so that's what we see here, and, and that looks really good. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, this student did great work here. This is exceptional work, and you can. Uh, this is a little bit of a teaser. So if you want to know how to take great photos like this, then this is the badge for you. These assignments are really fun to do. They go quick, and you're going to really love it, and you are going to be amazed at what a great photographer you turn into. So jump right into lesson three, and let's get started in those tutorials so you start learning how to do these kind of amazing shots. Thank you.